Do you want to look like a good FIFA player? Well, you've come to the right place because today I'm going to show you a great tactic that will make you look like a good FIFA player. There are many risks in this tactic, but it's all in the name of looking like a good FIFA player. First of all, you're going to want to pick a good team. If you're an ultimate team, make a good team. Not too good though. You don't want the opponent to get scared and you don't want him to think you're a newbie there. This lowers his expectations and he thinks that he'll win, but he'll have another thing coming. I've chosen Chelsea for this presentation. The match starts, all you want to do is just play regularly, not too good. You want to make a team as though you suck, but you're going to come back later. You could start teasing him by letting him get past your defense, but make sure you do have somebody in the box that can steal the ball away from him whenever you want to. Let him take his shots, but then be cheeky by passing the ball to your goalkeeper and going for a play. It might not seem like the greatest idea, but once again, with this method, you have to take risk in order to seem like a good player. If the opponent gets a free kick, let him take the kick. If he does what you've just seen, foul him. And then let him take another free kick. It'll make you seem like less of an opponent, as though you do not know how to play. But you're gonna come back later, as I keep saying. If he does the same exact thing, take the ball and go for a run. You could score a goal right now, or you could take it away and then you could score a goal later with another tactic. What you can do now is let the opponent get all the way to your half, but before he does, you stop him and then you pass the ball back to him. Make sure you do that. So you can try to go again, but you stop him once again. It'll make you seem as though you are a good defender, because you are. After stopping him, go for a run, but not just any run. Start teasing him with these passbacks and these cuts. As you can see right now, I'm passing the ball to other team members using the Tiki Taka method that many great teams use. You just pass to your other players, keep passing and passing and passing until you get an opening to go for a run. But right now, I pass back, I skill move, and I pass him again. And you could go for a run. You could score a goal here, or you could wait until you could score one later. When you get the ball again, go for a run. But this time, do some skill moves like I am doing with the roulette right now. And then pass to your other player if you have an opening and go for a goal. If you don't make it, it's okay because there's another chance you could make one later on. The opponent missed his free kick. If this happens in your game, get the ball to your goalkeeper, pass it to the closest player, and then pass it back to the goalkeeper. You're going to be cheeky again by going for another run with your goalkeeper. This might seem like a dumb idea, but trust me, it'll be great later on. So you're going to have to conceive a goal, make sure it's not too early into the game because you don't want to seem like you suck, and you don't want to do it too late because you're going to need a bounce back. His expectations are lowered even more, which is good for you later on. Be careful though, this step is risky. If you can't score an equalizer to tap the game, don't try this or you'll lose. But it doesn't matter if you lose, right? We don't care about winning in FIFA. We don't care about the coins, the glory, the players, the trophy. All we care about is the experience and how we could better ourselves and strive to achieve greatness in FIFA. Nah, you would have thought. Once you get the ball again, you could go for a run with all your pace, go as fast as you can, do as many skilled moves as you can, and you could score a goal and make a comeback. It'll make it seem as though you clutch the game and you're back in. But you can also save that goal for later on in the match. Remember about the goal I told you to conceive earlier and how it was going to be great later on? Well, now's the time. At this point, the opponent is at his weakest. He's put his guard down because he thinks you're absolute piss. But this is your best chance to strike back. He won't be expecting this. From kickoff, kick the ball, do a cool trick just for show. Run down the wing, keep the ball until the last possible moment, and shoot! Guaranteed goal. The opponent wouldn't have known what hit him. Let's see that again. 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 It's unexpected for you to do that right after halftime. So this is the best chance for you to go. Just like I said, it feels great, doesn't it? You thought he was gonna keep a clean sheet, but you put his dreams in a blender and drank them in a tasty chocolate milkshake. How did that feel? Amazing! 
you can celebrate all you want. Watching the replays, keep the replays on, do not skip them. Make sure you rub it in the opponent's face on how you destroyed the clean sheet. And once again, celebrate like the mean scoring machine that you are. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry about that. So, now that you've got a goal and you've tied up the match, it's 1-1. One one. You can do anything you want, like not letting him get past your defense. You could just dribble, waste your time, get fouls, or you could score another goal. But that is not what I did in this tutorial. Because we were tied, we're going into extra time and we're choosing classic. Everybody chooses classic. What you want to do is just run and kick the ball out of their place. Kick it out. You don't want them to get a goal. When the opponent has a corner and they decide to pass the ball, go to the corner and trap them there and have some fun. Just keep playing, try to get another goal, but if you're cheeky like me, pass the ball to your goalkeeper once again and go for a run. If you're trying to score another goal, when you get the ball from kickoff, run, go to one of the wings and just keep running, do some skill tricks like roulettes, they won't expect it, and just go, and this is a great time to get a goal. I didn't get a goal because I'm not the greatest at FIFA, but this would be an awesome time to get a goal. My match ended in a draw, but you could clutch the game, get some goals, and come out like a FIFA king. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.